Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Before we begin the lesson on the control panel, you should be warned that making changes to some of the items in the control panel can seriously alter your computer and how it functions. It may even cause your computer to not function at all. So do not make changes to the settings within the control panel if you do not fully understand the implications of changing the settings. Now the control panel is used to change settings within the operating system and the computer itself. In this screen you can change settings for the keyboard and mouse sensitivity, speaker volume, display colors and resolution, as well as modem, network and printer settings among other things. Now to access the control panel, click the start button in the Windows taskbar and select control panel from the menu. When you first open the control panel, you will see some of the most commonly used control panel items organized by category. To find out more information about an item in the control panel while in category view, hold your mouse pointer over the icon or category name to read the text that appears. To open one of these items, click its icon or category name. Some of these items will open to a list of tasks that you can perform, as well as a selection of individual control panel items. For example, if you click on the Appearance and Personalization hyperlink, you'll see a list of tasks, such as Personalization, along with other items. Now if you open the control panel within Windows Vista and you do not see the item that you want to change, you can click the Classic View button in the left side of the control panel. In Windows 7, you can click the drop down next to the words View By and then choose to see all of the items either as large icons or small icons. That will then display all of the individual items that you can change within the control panel. To open an item, you can simply double click on its icon, or if you're using Vista or Windows 7, simply give it a single click. Also, to find out more about any item in the control panel while viewing the available icons, simply hold your mouse pointer over the icon and read the text that appears. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.